Just, just yell and okay. we'll, well, I'll, I'll repeat the question so everybody can hear it. I've got a big voice. Yes, just as the ultimate antidote to anti-black racism is in black nationalism and Liberia, it's classical liberalism in the United States, the ultimate anti antidote to anti-Semitism is in Zionism in Israel, it's classical liberalism and the United States. So my question is, Dr. Brooke, and I understand you have immigrated, and, and thank you so much for, for immigrating to, to our country. We're better off for it. I'm not sure I'm that, I'm that welcome. <laughs> well, I guess it just seems as if it seems as if you're giving up on classical liberalism and the United States. Uh, I don't understand why. I mean, shouldn't we just allow complete open immigration from Israel and, and allow the people like you yourself came? Uh, so let me, let me just say, absolutely, let's allow okay. open immigration, maybe not just from Israel, but maybe Israel is a good start. I'm not sure most Americans will accept that, right? So, so I don't think that's a proposal that would fly very far uh, anyway. But no, I, I'm not giving up on the United States. I'm adding Israel to the world of classical liberalism. Um, the United States has come a long way from its roots in classical liberalism. And, um, and Israel has come a long way from its roots in, in, in socialism and has moved towards classical liberalism. So I want a world of classical liberalism. I want the Palestinians to be classical liberal. I want all of the world to benefit from the enormous... Uh, prosperity and individual liberties that are possible as a result of classical liberalism. So why, why limit myself just to the United States when the United States is in decline and the rest of the world can benefit from these ideas? So it's not a matter of giving up on the United States. Quite the contrary. 99% of my talks and my lectures about how to make the United States better, how to save capitalism, how to save freedom. My concern is, though, that there are few bastions around the world, you know, parts of Europe, parts of Asia and Israel that represent what I believe is classical liberalism, and I'd hate to see them destroyed. Because you know what? When they're destroyed, you know where they're coming next. <coughs>